Welcome to my writing vlog. It was a while ago I did one of these videos, uh, so I guess it's time. What I want to tell you, what I want to tell you today is how my novel has been progressing and some other interesting things. So, I worked on my novel and then I got stuck. And the reason I got stuck was that I was trying to... The reason I got stuck was that I was trying to add text to the short story. I tried to make it longer by updating the text I had already written. And that was uh, a bad idea because it was really boring to just... Pr to just make something I have already written longer. It just felt so boring. And so I kind of gave up. <laughs> and thought that... Uh, I should just write short stories instead. Actually what I thought was that... Uh, it felt backwards to... To decide the length... Before you wrote the story. Uh, the length shouldn't dictate the story, the story should dictate the length. And that's why I just want to write stories. Not short stories, not novels, just stories and let them be as long as they need to be, given the content of the story. And so I kind of thought that that's how I should view it and just leave the short story where it was and write more stories and just let them be as long as they would turn out, and maybe one day one of them would be long enough to be called a novel. Um, so I ended up at that position, and I did write uh, a few more short stories, and I will tell you more about that soon. But then something happened. Um, a very popular YouTuber called Ronnie Reads uh, narrated my story about the lost city of Corona and it received a lot of praise and a lot of people said that they wanted to read more about that universe and about the characters in that story and it gave me back my motivation to do something with this story after all uh, but instead of trying to add words to it I just started over I opened a new document and I began writing uh, from scratch and it felt so much better uh, instead of trying to force myself to make the text longer, I felt it felt much more natural to just uh, dig into to the details I didn't mention in the short short story. Uh, and also, I think I have imp I have improved my writing since I write that wrote that story, and now I can write it with a little bit more skill, uh, which I didn't had back then. Which I didn't have back then, and so uh, so I began writing it again actually, and now I'm writing the novel once again, but from scratch, and it feels much much better. Hopefully, uh, I can write a thousand words a day, which means that I will be done in about one month or two months. Uh, I don't plan on writing a very thick book. I'm planning on writing a pretty short book. I'm aiming at 30,000 or 40,000 words, uh, which is a which is a rather short book actually. I think Animal Farm by Orwell is uh, close to 30,000 words, so it will be something like that, maybe a little bit longer. And personally, I, I prefer books that aren't too long actually. I think you can actually a lot of books that I have read, I have felt they could have been shorter and, in, and contained the exact same ideas and, and story. So yeah, I'm, I'm not going to write a super long novel about it. That's why I will... Uh, I think I can be done with my first draft in just one or two months. Uh, and then I will turn one of my... And, and when I'm done with the first draft, I will turn one of my newest short stories into a novel as well. Uh, which has also gained a lot of popularity on Reddit. And so to come back to the short stories I have been writing in the meantime, while I was stuck with the novel, uh, I wrote a story that uh, was about two guys entering a parallel universe where Homo sapiens never evolved. 
and this story has uh, gotten, I think, uh, it's a two-parter, so it's two two uh, posts on Reddit, and both of those posts, those posts has reached, uh, has so far reached uh, six thousand upvotes or uh, seven thousand, and that's uh, that's a lot actually for me at least. So I'm thinking, and a lot of people are saying that they want to read more about more. Uh, that I should continue on that story as well. So, uh, I'm planning on doing that. Uh, that story was also narrated by a popular YouTuber. So, um, uh, you can check all that. I, I will put links in the description to all of the things. And you can check it out yourself. Uh, and, not, and to avoid getting bored while I write the novels... Uh, I will continue to write short stories at the same time. It will make the process of writing the novels a little bit longer, but uh, I will not die of boredom, which, you know, I need some kind of... What I need is uh, variation. If I do the same thing over and over and over again, uh, how, it doesn't matter how fascinating or, or, or fun it is, it will turn into a shore and become tedious. So I will... Also, con I will continue to write short stories, and that's a good news for for you if if you like my short stories, because that means obviously obviously that you will have more to read. Um, okay, so one more thing I want to tell you is that uh, me and Martin has uh, begun making a different kind of videos, which we will publish to this channel as well. We just published one. Uh, uh, today, uh, you know, today from my perspective, it was probably a while ago maybe when you see this, but uh, we are trying to make, like, um, comedy, I guess. We're trying to be funny. I don't know if I'm funny, uh, you know, uh, you will have to decide. But it's really fun to make those videos, so I hope you think it's, you, 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 you think it's fun to watch it as well. Uh, and what we do is we kind of... It's a kind of—it's a parody uh, of uh, your typical uh, television show where they go out uh, looking for ghosts and stuff like that, like exploring the unknown. Uh, those shows often take themselves way too serious, and we are kind of joking about it. So it's kind of related to the overall theme of this channel, but with a touch of comedy. Uh, or it's super cringe-worthy and it's just uh, lame. I don't know. If if, that, if if we discovered that that is the case, we we might uh, uh, try to come up with some new ideas. But yeah, uh, so we will try to do uh, fill the channel with that kind of content as well. And uh, the last thing I want to say in today's vlog is that you can now buy merchandise to help support our channel. And some of that merchandise you can see uh, right in front of you in this little studio. Uh, there are stickers on my computer. And there's also a poster next to me. Now, some of the merchandise is related to our brand, like uh, the name All Direction and our logo. Uh, and some of the merchandise is uh, based on our uh, my stories. Uh, such as the poster here, which is based on the story, one of my po most popular stories, uh, I Killed All My Colleagues. It sounds really gruesome, but it is actually kind of wholesome. Uh, I can recommend uh, you to read it if you haven't already. Um, and... Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so Martin is going to narrate that story for this channel. Uh, so you can just uh, wait until then and listen to it. Cool. Anyway, that's all for today, I think. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like what's on it and press the bell button if you want to get notifications uh, when we upload our videos. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Ja, det är så. Nu klappar det. Ja, det är så. Så sista klappen är nog bra. Jag stänger av här. Jag bara trycker på röda eller?